How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Armored Core 6. So, we are continuing on. Um, we took out the uh, smart cleaner boss in the last episode um, in the uh, grid 086 mission. Uh, so, we are heading to the Eliminate the Dozer faction mission. Um, Eliminate the Junker Coyotes, a Dozer faction invading grid 086. Extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Okay. Ah, my favorite little tourist. About my promise to take you up top. I need a little help cleaning up first. You see, a certain someone smashed up all my defense hardware. And now I've got rival dozers muscling in. It's the Junker Coyotes. We never did get on. Always sniffing around and snapping at our heels. <sighs> They're dull company, tourist. One thing, though. They're using RADMTs. Hot from the black market. They might be a pack of dumb animals, but at least they know quality workmanship. Anyway, you know the score. You made this mess, now you get to clean it up. Well, technically, I'm asking you to make a whole new mess. Ah, whatever. You know what to do. Now get out there. Mm. Yeah, so I do have to go back and do that last mission again. Get all the combat locks. Not looking forward to that considering the boss took me a bit. Activating combat mode. Let's get rolling, tourist. Get out there and bag me some coyotes. They're already moving in right now.
And now, it's my turn to help you. Is that really it? <laughs> wow. Okay. How's that a short one? One new message. Guess you noticed that job from Balaam and decided to take it. I see you're heading for the cargo launcher now. Not a bad idea, I'll give you that. Keep heading for the ice field. I'll take care of some loose ends in the meantime. All right. Guess we're doing the next one. Ocean Crossing. Oh, wow. Okay. Short chapter, I guess. We're continuing through grid 086 for the Intercontinental Cargo Launcher. As promised, Carla has agreed to serve as our guide. I'm not sure how safe it is to trust a dozer. But if we turn her down, we turn her knowledge down as well. One more thing, Raven. Cinder. Carla's nickname? That's what the Rubiconians call survivors of the fires of Ibis. If the fires happened half a century ago, well, it could just be some dozer inside joke. All right. This will be our third sortie together, Raven. Surprised how quick that last mission was. Here we go, tourist. I'll lead the way, just as promised. But after this, you owe me one. Out 
combat lock. Record extracted from a wreck appears to be a leftover log of chatter between allies. Want to hear something wild? Turns out those big shots of the PCA who run the satellites take their orders from an AI. <clears throat> an AI. They're working for a computer, man. What? Ha, I guess you're right. Then again, we're not too different there, huh? Yeah, but at least at least chatty fellows uh chatty follows the boss's orders suppose he's just programmed that way though okay Another crazy boss. Now, if you could just step inside. Wait. Enemy detected. That machine. Oh 
tank. All right, guys, so this is the next day. I had been fighting that guy for two hours last night and probably another hour today. Um, so this is the attempt where I actually get the boss. Uh, just doing a voice over here because uh, I was not recording my audio, which I should have because when I beat him, I was uh, pretty much uh, screaming like a schoolgirl. Um, <laughs> so... It seems like really the best strat uh, for the entire fight is to use a uh, tetrapod uh, so you can hover in the air. Um, you can you can do it on the ground. Um, I found a way to dodge his um, slam attack. Basically, what you do is you kind of dodge straight towards him and go underneath him, um, kind of like I did right there. Uh, and the laser, I would, as you see, I'm okay at dodging sometimes. Like, there's a double laser, laser attack, um, that he just did. And he's got some other ones that he does as well. Um, but that double laser was killing me, um, like, a lot of that time. And I wasn't very consistent at dodging it, um, so... Unfortunately, but yeah, I mean it's it seemed uh, it seemed like the uh, the tetrapod was the way to go here. Uh, I tried a multitude of weapons. I tried a, a tank. I tried. I mean, I left the mission and went and farmed and got bought other weapons, and it was just crazy. Um, so, and I kept getting. I honestly thought like the series was gonna end here because. I, I just was getting so frustrated I couldn't get this guy. Um, I was getting him, now he's, okay, so now he's going into his second phase. He flies up in the air, 
Um, and he does some crazy shit here. Uh, he does like a whirlwind attack, like something out of Melania's playbook, basically. Uh, yeah, here he goes. So for this, you want to fly to like the edge of the uh, the, the map uh, to get away from that. Is what I discovered. Um, so I didn't get him into this phase too often. So I think I just got lucky here. Um, does seem to be a fair amount of RNG involved with this fight. Sometimes he spams the slam attack. Sometimes he spams the laser. Like it's. Uh, it was tough. Um, like I said, I thought the I thought the series was gonna end here, and I just barely, barely got this guy. As you see, I have no repair kits right now, and I even went to the arena and bought um, or did uh, did more arena missions and used some OST chips on uh, damage mitigation. Um, just because this guy hits like a truck. Especially with, uh, with the slam attack and the lasers. Yeah, so we're we're not doing great on health, but we got the kill. And oh man, let me tell you. Woo! I, w I was practically jumping up and down. I mean, <laughs> crazy, crazy fight. I was, I was getting down on myself. You know, I thought, uh, like, ah, oh, man, I can't do this because of my vision. And uh, just kind of really bummed out because um, I love this game. Uh, but, yeah, finally got him. Like I said, I mean, I trying. And ultimately what it came down to, the only thing I changed here, obviously, you know, we're using a tetrapod, and the only other change made was... Um, the regular like missiles as opposed to vertical uh, plasma missiles as opposed to vertical um, plasma missiles so came down to the plasma weapons yet again well, guess a dog can't choose its master but still tough luck I feel sorry for you I really do I tried bazookas, detonating bazookas, grenade launchers, strictly for cargo, right? Double grenade launchers, like <laughs> everything. No one's ever used it to launch themselves before, at least not in one piece. Walter was correct in his judgment. The coral, it's here in this desolate place. All right. We got through that one. It looks like we we got all the combat logs too. Which is a relief because I would if we miss some, I would say fuck it. <laughs> I would not go back in there and fight that thing again. Entering standard mode. Two new 
messages. Looks like you've made it to the central ice field, 621. Good. I'm done tying up loose ends. Archibus found their own way in and are ready to deploy survey squads. And it looks like Balaam's come running after you scoped out the place, too. You know what's going to happen. Business as usual. But... you can make it work for us. Registration number RB23. Call sign, Raven. Your records have been updated. D-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. These correspond to the middle ranks. We invite you to further hone your technique. Okay, mercenary data added to the arena. Raven, I was looking into the arena and I discovered something you might want to know about. It's a network service that was labeled Nest, with no obvious clues about its purpose. From what I can tell, it's a special mercenary support program, encrypted and kept secret. I've installed the back door, so you'll have no trouble getting in as you please. Spellerin feature is available, Nest. New parts are available for purchase. Uh, so the Nest I did look at, and that is the PvP arena. Uh, so let's see, new stuff. Got a scutter, burst machine gun. Shotgun. Sweet 16 shotgun. Majestic Bazooka. Stun Bomb Launcher. Now this sounds interesting. Stun Round Launcher developed by RAD special Fire special projectiles that scatter electrified metal shards, the effects of which build up to induce a forced electrical discharge. That sounds like something I'd want to use. We may play around with that. Another pulse gun, another bubble gun. Features a larger oscillator to further improve firepower and effective range. So it's a better, a better pulse gun. May have to buy that in case we come across more pulse armor enemies. Oh, I noticed that before. There's a stun baton. Laser blade. Oof, the attack power on that. I have to. There's so much good stuff now. I'm going to have to do a ton of farming. Dual missile launcher. Three cell dual missile launcher. Traps targets in a pincer trajectory. Might have to buy that too. The vertical missile launcher allows missiles to deny enemies cover and circumvent such defenses. Split missile launcher. Damn. Lots of good stuff. Another pulse shield. Optimized for standard deflection. This one has a window uh, has a window heightened around output immediately after deploying the shield. It's capable of canceling out incoming fire. Another 
head. Damn, where's that one? Good AP, it's probably good for a tank. But good AP, good defenses. Arms. Ah, spring chicken. Reverse jump legs. I still haven't bought those yet, actually. To try them out. More tank legs. Another booster. Couple boosters. Another FCS. This lock connection. Generators. Lots of good stuff in the shop. But I think that is it for now, guys, and we will continue on into chapter three in the next one. So hopefully, you're all doing well. Stay tuned. Mark coming at you. Take care.